Hey guys, welcome back to Pots Mama Bear. Um, this is my first video of the year, and I thought I'd start it off by doing a um, another crocheting video. Um, I will be uploading one more before this one, and that one is um, of the kids. Um, it's actually for their channel, but I'm just going to upload it to my channel as well. Anyways, um, this video is going to be, like I said, a crocheting video. We're going to do a toddler's beanie. Um, this is the line, this brand is Lines Brand, or Line Brand. Um, it's the Sesame Street um, brand, or line, and it's the One Hat Wonder, and we are doing Elmo. Um, I'm not going to fuddle, fuddle, <laughs> fuddle, oh my goodness, follow the, um, the pattern that is given to you on the back. It's, um, not difficult, but I don't like making my, um, my beanies from the top, I mean, from the bottom to the top, I actually like to start from the, the top and go make my word, make, ugh, make my way down to the bottom. I'm so sorry about that, you guys. I'm having a hard time right now. Um, but anyways, I will try to do this a different day on camera for you. Um, now what you're going to need for this video is the yarn, which it did come with this Elmo. This is the yarn that, um, this is the line, line brand yarn. Um, I pulled it all out because I have attempted to do this video numerous times before, but, um, I am just having a really hard time with, oops, with it. It's my fault. Nobody else's fault. Anyways, you need the yarn, Elmo, um, crocheting hook and scissors, and you will also need a yarn needle to um sew in the ends so we're just going to go ahead and jump in this i've already wasted enough time with my problems anyways um this one you're going to need um okay so you're going to start off with a magic circle or magic loop whatever you want to call it I do like a longer tail to start with just because um, I want to be able to make sure that I have enough to um, enough tail to sew in the end. Okay, so this is just how I do mine. Um, there are tons of videos on YouTube on how to do this. This is just how I do mine. It, um, I think it's a little bit easier than some of them. But anyways, I take the tail end and I wrap it around my index and my middle finger twice. So you have two um, loops on there. So you're going to take your hook and you're going to go up through the first or under the first one, over the second one, grab the second one and turn it. And then you're going to... Um, sorry chain up three so there's the first one here is the second and sorry the third um so what i do is i actually like to put the the string on the other side um it's i don't know i just do it okay Anyways, you're going to yarn over and you're going to put, you're not going to count this as one um, double crochet. You are going to um, just be doing uh, 10 double crochet into this, um, into the, the loop. So here, to do that, you're going to yarn over, go through the loop, yarn over again, and then you're going to um, yarn over pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, you're going to yarn over, go through the loop, grab some yarn, and then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, yarn over and pull through two. 
So that is two on there. Remember, you're not going to count this first chain three. So it's just two. And then I'm just going to go a little bit faster. There's three. Four. Five. Um, six. There's seven. Oh. There's eight. Nine. And then we have one more after this. This is still nine. And here is ten. Okay. So, as you can see, it does not look like much of anything right now. This got twisted. You're just going to pull this little loop all the way closed. Just like that. And as you can see, I have a really long tail on here. Okay. So I'm going to insert my hook back into the loop and I'm going to put the loop on that chain, th uh, um, on the third chain. So here's one, two, and then here is your third. Then just grab some yarn, pull through, and then you're going to just pull through and that's called the slip stitch. So now I'm going to chain up two and go right into because you're not going to count this one so I'm just going to go right into that next um this next chain right here or not chain sorry um stitch you're going to yarn over and go through both of oops both of those loops or chains chains that's um stitches or however you won't really want to call it okay so then you're going to pull through and then you're going to do your double crochet so you're going to do two double crochets in each stitch so that was one two one and then here is your third stitch and you're going to do two in this one as well and then here is your second stitch in that one or second double crochet here's another one and here's two in that one as well um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a double crochet one more time, in, or two double crochets into the same one. So, you're going to round, or yarn over. Okay, go play, okay? No. No? Okay. Oop. So, you can yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over again, pull through. And then you're going to yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Yeah, you don't play with that cane. So again, in the same stitch, you're going to yarn over, pull, go through, I mean pull through, yarn over, and pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And I'm going to continue to do that in the next few stitches. And come back and show you how to do the last one in there. Okay, guys. Um, so my last two are going to go in this stitch right here. Again, th um, this is just how I do mine. Um, there's a bunch of other um, videos on how to do these beanies. Um, it's just however you f um, feel like doing them. So one, two, 
That is my second um, chain two that you put your, um, sorry, you put your, um, your slip stitch into. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, so here's, um, you're going to chain up two, and then you're going to go into this first one right there. So not in this one, but this next one. So you yarn over, and then you pull through your yarn, and you're going to do one double crochet, in, uh, or one double crochet, and then you're going to do two double crochet in the next And then one, and two, and then here is one, and two, into this one. And then it's, um, the pattern is going to be one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, all the way around. So I will con um, continue this off camera and meet you back at the end. Okay, so at the end of, uh, we're at the end of this one, and I'm, this round, and I'm going to, um... Oops, slip stitch into that chain two. Okay, so now you're going to chain up two, and then you're going to, um, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm so lost right now, hold on. Okay. I'm sorry about that guys so not this one but this next one you're gonna go into and you're gonna go uh, are you gonna double crochet one and the next one you're gonna double crochet one and then you're gonna double crochet two in that third stitch so here's one and two And again, you're going to do one, one, two. So you're going to do two double crochets in the same stitch. And then you're going to, again, I'm going to show you one more time. You're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. one double crochet into the next stitch and then in the third stitch you're going to do two so here's one and two so you're going to do one double crochet one double crochet two double crochets one one two all the way till you get back and i will meet you back when i get to the end Okay, so now that I'm at the end of it, I'm going to go ahead and chain up two. I mean, not chain up two, sorry. Um, count to the um, slip stitch. Sorry, that's the, the top of the two, uh, the chain two, and then slip stitch. Then you're going to yarn or chain up two again. And then go into this first stitch and do one double crochet. And then in the next one you do one double crochet. I'm sorry if you guys hear the loudness in the back. Here's um, into the third stitch you're going to do another double crochet. And then you're going to do two double crochets into um, this next stitch. So it's going to be, hold on, here's your second double crochet, and then it's going to go one into this next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, 
one double crochet into the third stitch and then two double crochets into the next so here's one and two now I'm going to show you one more time so one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the third stitch and then two double crochets and I am going to go ahead and um, uh, continue to do that it's going to be one double crochet one double crochet one double crochet two double crochets and um, and that will be done all the way around until you get to the end and that's will I, when I will see you next is in the next one in the end of this round okay guys so that was the end of round one two three four five um, <clears throat> I'm going to do one more round of increases and then I'm going to start on the length. So for this round, we are going to chain up two and we are going to do one ding one single no one double crochet into the next um well one, two, three, four stitches. So that's one. Here's two. three and four and now in the fifth stitch we are going to do um, two double crochet so here's one and two <clears throat> so now we're going to start again you do one double crochet in the next four one, two, three, four. And then in the fifth stitch, we do two double crochet. I'm going to continue this pattern all the way around, but first I'm going to go over it with you. Okay, so one double crochet one double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next two double crochets go into that fifth stitch so you're going to continue that pattern all the way around and i will meet you when i get to the end okay guys so i am done with this row um by now the hat should start curling up um, and now we are going to work on the length. Um, the length is completely up to you. I know other YouTubers um, tell you exactly how long to make it or, um, you know, how many rows. But I really don't know exactly how many rows to do the length until I try it on my child, which I will get to as soon as it is um, a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, so as of right now, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six rows, and um, that is six rows of increases, and that is the last increase row <clears throat> we are going to do. Now we are going to work on the length, and to do that, you're just going to crochet or chain up two, go into the next row. Um, chain and just do a double crochet one double crochet in each uh, stitch all the way around um, and I will be able to count and let you know how many rows I've done once I get the length done but um, from now until um, the end of this row we are going to do double one double crochet in each stitch and that is going to be all the way around 
and I will go ahead and um, continue to do my single cro or no, I'm sorry, not single crochets, double crochets all the way around until I get to um, the end of this row and then I will come back and um, yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my first row of um, single crochets in each stitch and it is starting to flip up more and more or curl up more and more um, going upward or if you're holding it downward um, yeah so anyways um, we're going to just continue to do this and it every or do one double crochet in each stitch until you get to um, the length that you want um, I'm going to go ahead and just continue to do um, do these uh, double crochets, one double crochet in each stitch all the way until I get the length that I need for my son. And um, then I will show you how to attach the Elmo onto the hat itself. Okay guys, so I've only gotten two rows done of my um, beanie, but I just thought I would show you guys how I add the um, Elmo onto the hat. So what I'm going to do is cut the ends of the elastic. And then I'm going to feed it through either side of the beanie or of the um, the t the middle top of the hat. So there is one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to take it. Just take my nail. And kind of push through the top and it's just like how I add the um, the pom-poms onto the beanies so you're gonna flip it inside out and then you're going to tie a knot in this well yeah just going to tie a knot, sorry. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then you're going to do an another one. And I like to do three, just in case. So there is your, um, how to add the pom-pom. And that's how that is going to look when it's on the child's head. Of course, all this is going to kind of stretch out a little bit. So it's not going to look as loose on there. And there you have your pom-pom or your Elmo hat. Now, um, I'm just going to show you guys how I tie in my, or sew in my ends really quick. Let me get my needle. First, I gotta look for it. Let's try it. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. So I just go ahead and I take it. And I don't, I, well, I mean, I do do it this way. Um, if it's easier, you just pull this. Um, the yarn all the way through and then just push it through like so okay 
So usually I do this before I add the pom-pom or whatever it is to the top of the hat. But I'm just going to go ahead and pull it and see which side it comes from, which I think it's that side. Okay, so we're going to go through this side and we're going to go through all of, well, as many as you can of the little um, double crochets up here. You're going to just pull that through and then you're going to keep going all the way around or until you feel like it is secure. I usually do this like two or go through like two or three times. But of course, it's the needle is stuck because the eye of the needle is too much or it's too big. Okay, so I've already went through. Now I'm going to cut. And that's how the inside of the hat looks. And you flip it over and it should look something like this. Um, I will be sure to go ahead and make sure that I um, post a picture of how it looks on my son once the thing is complete. Um, but that is it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And um, hit the notification bell so you're notified when we upload videos. Um, if you guys have any other ideas, anything you want to see on our channel... Um, just let me know in the comments below and I think that is it and we will see you in our next video. Bye.